So free space. That no. <laughs> that Okay, folks, welcome to my 10th game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the SNES. So far in this run, I've won myself $164,800, putting me just $35,200 away from breaking $200,000. Let's see how I do. Liz and Jim are my opponents this time around, so let's play. <laughs> We have these six categories to deal with today. Gone Fishing, The Beach Boys, Dance History, Double Talk, Transportation, and finally, Food. As I try to add on my $164,800, I'm going to go with Gone Fishing for $100. Splashing and wearing clothes that reflect light may provoke sharks to do this. Uh, what is attack? Gone fishing for 200. The answer is... Freshwater eels are catadorma, catad, cat, catadromus, which means they migrate to the sea to do this. Liz. And she does not have a clue. So, she is going to be in the hole. Jim. Spawn. And Jim got it right. Transportation for 100. The answer is... Draft animals include the Clydesdale horse, the Indian elephant, and this Siberian dog. What is the husky? Transportation for 200. The answer is... Meaning tide wood, this, this boat first consists of a platform and lashed across two canoes or logs. What is a uh, catamaran? I'll go with uh, transportation for 300, please. The answer is... The name of this long rudderless sled comes from the Mi'kmaq Indians of Canada. What is a toboggan? Uh-huh. Transportation for 400. It's someone who takes a leisurely walk or the type of baby carriage he might be pushing. What is a stroller? Transportation for 500. The answer is... A single track system on which one or more train cars may travel. What's a monorail? Okay, let's go back to Gone Fishing for 300, please. The answer is... Jay, Jacques Cousteau thinks the fish that swallowed this Bible figure may have been a giant grouper. Uh, what is, uh, who is Jonah? Yep, but Gone Fishing for 400. They come in striped, spotted, largemouth, and smallmouth varieties. What are bass? Gone 
Gone fishing 500. The answer is... These food fish were so named because they were first caught near an Italian island. What are sardines? The island being Sardinia. Okay. Let me have Beach Boys for 100. Sport mentioned in the titles of their first three top ten hits. What is surfing? Everybody's gone surfing. Surfing USA. The Beach Boys for three hundred for two hundred, please. I'm sorry. Two, two. The answer is okay. Late singer Al Jardine asked for this girl's help to get his old girl out of his head. Who is Rhonda? Beach Boys 300. Daily Double. I'll do it. When Brian Wilson stopped touring in 1964, he was replaced by this rhinestone co uh, cowboy. Who is, uh, Glenn Campbell? He's the one. Beach Boys 400. The answer is... When this, with this 1988 hit... They had their first number one in over 20 years. What is one of my all-time favorite Beach Boys songs? Kokomo! And I'll close out the category. The answer is... Two of their top hits had titles that were one word repeated three times. Dance, 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 and this. Dance, 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 and this. Oh, 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 oh. It just now dawned on me, but I'm too late. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, yeah. So Liz goes up to $300. Takes second place for now. I knew it, but it just dawned on me too late. So now we're going to go to food for 100 The answer is... Created by Brennan's Restaurant in New Orleans, Bananas Foster is served for this course. What's dessert? I'll take food for 200 The name for this, the name, this name for clear soup comes from the French for to boil. What is boilie base? Boilie base? Hope I spelled it right. No, I did not. Whew. See if Jim knows this any better than I do. Boyan, boyan. Mm. So Jim answered correctly. Food for 300. The answer is... The red flannel variety of this is made from corned beef and beets. What is hash? Uh-huh. A food for 400. The answer is... The steak and kidney variety of this is an old English favorite. I don't know. Liz. Pie. Steak and kidney pie. Oh, okay. So she answered correctly and gets the next clue. Gets to pick the next clue, I should say. Which is food for 500. The answer is... The ingredient that puts the crunch in a Baby Ruth candy bar... What are peanuts? Good for 500 more. Could I have double talk for one? The answer is... A really dumb person or the toy Tommy Smothers plays with on his comedy hour. Oh, well, Jim doesn't know. What is a dum dum? No, that was wrong. Well, let's see if Liz knows this any better than I do. Oh, a 
Yo yo. Ah. Uh. Okay. Since when is a dum dum a toy? <laughs> okay. Dance history for one hundred. In the 11th and 14th centuries, it was the Macabre Palace where Adonis Macabre was performed. What is a ballet? No, that is wrong. Man. These clues are just not agreeing with me today. It's a cemetery! Okay. Dance History 200. The answer is... The, rec the record for one of these is held by a couple who danced from August 29th, 1930 to April 1st, 1931. Jim. It's a dance marathon. Okay. Double talk 200. In a certain Coleridge poem, it proceeds everywhere, nor any drop to drink. What is water, water? I'll take, um, 300. Double talk for 300. The is. It's the capital of American Samoa. What is Pago Pago? And I'll go with the uh, double talk for 400. The answer is... The only number one hit for the mamas and the papas. What's Monday, Monday? Now 400. The answer is... A disease of the peripheral nerves caused by a vitamin B1 deficiency. Jim. And he does not know. Liz. Oh, well, Liz does not know either. I don't know, so I'm not buzzing in. Berry, berry. All right, 300. Six of her German students, the Isadorables, turned the U.S. around World War One. Who is Isadora Duncan? I'll take uh, Dance History for 400. The answer is... Courtly, elegant dance abandoned when the waltz hit European dance halls about 1769. Jim. The Minuet. Now the last clip. The answer is... Latin chain dance introduced in the 1930s that goes like this. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. What is the samba? No, I forgot what it was called. Liz. The conga, okay. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm at 7,900. Liz has 900, Jim 600, so he'll go first. See where we're at. Double Jeopardy time coming up. We are on the Saturday 
categories. We have these as our six categories today. We have file under A, American cities, electricity, dictionary abbreviations, quotes, and finally we're going to close it out with hodgepodge. Okay. We'll start with American cities for 200. Yes, Called the winter baseball capital of the U.S., this city lies across the Bay of Tampa, Florida. What is Miami? Ah. Or is it St. Petersburg? Yeah, St. Petersburg, Florida. That's right. Dictionary abbreviations, 200. Yes, it is. Not isn't the abbreviation for naughty, but for this. What is nautical? A dictionary abbreviations for 400. Daily Double. What the heck, I'll do it. Sing is a command to vocalize. It's short for this grammatical term. When it's singular. As I try once again to pile up the cash. I'll take dictionary abbreviations for six. A conj isn't a conjurer. It's one of these. What is a conjunction? Dictionary abbreviations for eight. Yes, it is. Etymologically speaking, SKT isn't short for skirt or skittles, but for this. What is Sanskrit? Which put me over seventeen thousand dollars. Thousand. Yes, While FT means foot or feet. Foot is an abbreviation for this. What is uh, future? Good for a thousand. I'm at eighteen thousand two hundred. American cities four hundred. Yes, Over sixty percent of the world's general aviation aircraft are built in this city. Kansas is largest. What is Wichita? Uh, American cities for 600. The other day they double. Um, 6,400 this time. From 1950 to 64, the population of this Alabama city skyrocketed from 16,000 to over 123,000. It's either Birmingham or, Mon or Montgomery. Or what is, uh, Huntsville? There we go! $25,000! No more Daily Doubles, yeah, American City's 800 A statue of Samuel Clemens stands at Riverview Park in this city on the Mississippi River. What is Hannibal, Missouri? American cities for 1,000. Yes, it is. An Air Force base named for the Wright brothers and test pilot Frank Patterson is in this Ohio city. I'll try it. What is Dayton? That's the one. Okay, let's have file under A for 200. Yes, it is. Lieutenant General Boris Gromov was the last Soviet soldier to be withdrawn from here. Jim. Afghanistan. Oh, okay. Mm. 
Hodgepodge, 200. The answer is... Hairy adjective describing sheep and mammoths. What is woolly? Hodgepodge for 400. The answer is... Susan B. Anthony was raised in this religion. Jim. Quaker. Quotes for 200. The answer is... Pivy PM who said of Viscount Montgomery, in defeat, unbeatable, in victory, unbearable. Who is uh, Winston Churchill? Quotes for 400? The answer is... He said, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Who is Patrick Henry? Quotes for 600. The answer is... He stated in one of his lectures, Where it go, their ego shall be. Who is uh, Freud? Sigmund Freud. A quotes for 800. The answer is... We need religion for religion's sake, morality for morality's sake, and this. Oh, I think I know it. Art for art's sake. Yeah, I knew that. File under A for 400. The answer is... This unattractive Hun was known as the Scourge of God. Who's Attila? File under A for 600. The answer is... To handle the trillions in our budget deficit, this bead calculator would need 13 columns. What's an abacus? And I'll go with the $800 clue and file under A. The answer is... Lyndon Johnson popularized this phrase to describe job programs for women and minorities. Jim. And he does not know. Affirmative action. Okay. Liz has $2,500, but there's nobody even close to me right now. Quotes for a thousand. The answer is... Oh, the shark has pretty teeth, dear, is under this playwright in Bartlett's quotations. Bertolt Brett. Hodgepodge 600. The answer is... The science of calculating the position of a ship and directing its course. Navigation. File under A for a thousand. The answer is... Under the main heading of astrology, subheadings include these two A signs. What are Aries and hmm. Aries and
Aries and Oh boy. I can't think of the other one. I know Aries is one, but I cannot remember the other. Aries and Aquarius. Oh, duh. Okay. Next clue. We have seven of them left. Electricity for 200. His experiments in electricity led him to invent the lightning rod. Who is Benjamin Franklin? Electricity for 400. The answer is... World Book defines it as electrons or ions that are not moving. What is static electricity? Can't type today. <laughs> I'll go with the uh, electricity for 600. The answer is... Wrap a wire around an iron bar, send a current through the wire, and you've made one of these. What's a magnet? It's gonna put me over $29,000. Electricity, 800. The answer is... George Westinghouse promoted the type of this the use of this type of current that we use today. What is DC? Or is it AC? Uh, it is AC, I just now remembered. Ah. It was one or the other. We're going on to the next clue. Electricity 1000. But nonetheless, Galvani thought this dead animal released electricity when touched to metal and its legs kicked. What is a frog? Hodgepodge 800. New York City landmark that was bombed in 1993. What is the World Trade Center? Last clue? The answer is... Name for an English chemist who had it and studied it. Daltonism is better known as this. Uh, Jim. It is colorblindness. So Jim has 4,200, Liz 3,300, and I have $30,400. So it's another runaway game. Final Jeopardy is ready to commence. The Final Jeopardy category is weather. So I have 30,400, 35,200, so 4,800, please. A recent study indicates that 22 to 40% of lightning flashes without this being heard. What is thunder? Which I'm absolutely sure is the right response. Which will put me at a 10 game winnings total of $200,000. You heard correctly folks, $200,000 in just 10 games. That is correct. Let's take a look. Liz, did you come up with Thunder? You did. Go up to $4,600. Jim, did you say Thunder? 
Yes, you did. You're at 7,400. I also said, what is Thunder? Putting me at 35,200. Once again, that's a 10 game winnings total of $200,000. I'll see you all for that next video, everybody. Saturday nights at 9. See what kind of crazy stuff we come up with on Cards Against Humanity with Marty Bingle. Your local news is next.